I typically don't cover news stories, but for the vintage aviation world, this is something I want to share if you haven't heard about it already. The consolidated PBY Catalina flying boat, made famous during World War II, seems to have a new lease on life. A Florida-based company, Catalina Aircraft, founded back in 2009, is planning on building a modern iteration of the 1930s design. The company has been restoring PBYs to airworthy status and holds a type certificate for the 28 5A CF Catalina. After seeing a few articles in the past week or so, I needed to read more about this story. First flown in 1935, the PBY Catalina was a flying boat used by every armed service of the United States military during World War II, along with a number of other Allied militaries across the world. Used in a variety of roles such as patrol bombing, convoy escort, search and rescue, anti-submarine warfare, and cargo transport, amphibious versions of the Catalina have seen extensive post-war service in civilian use and even serve as water bombers to fight fires, civilian airliners, and cargo aircraft to this day. Catalina Aircraft is constructing a variant addition of the iconic design. With the aircraft being designated the Next Generation Amphibious Aircraft, or the NGAA, Catalina II, with modern twin turboprops and modern cockpit displays and safety equipment. Announced in late July 2023, the Catalina II is set to have two main subvariants, a commercial and special use variant. The commercial version, as noted on Catalina Aircraft's website, has a maximum takeoff weight of 32,000 pounds and can have configurations of up to 34 passengers, up to 12,000 pounds of internal cargo, and up to two underwing mounted dinghies. This version is capable of operating in conditions up to sea state two, can cruise up to 185 knots, and has a 15 to 20% better fuel economy than older turboprop engine designs. Range estimates at this time are around 1500 miles. Being amphibious, this flying boat is equipped with a landing gear, which makes it capable of operating from all sorts of land runways, in addition to rivers, lakes, bays, and oceans. The aircraft will feature modern cockpit amenities and safety features as well. Commercial applications listed on their website included, but are not limited to, passenger airline service, air cargo transport, air yacht for private or corporate use, air ambulance, dive emergency response, humanitarian aid or environmental disaster response, adventure sports transport, or even postal supply delivery services. The special use variant, or the military version, is more built up from the commercial variant. Based on Catalina's aircraft website, these are able to support a maximum takeoff weight of 40,000 pounds, capable of transporting 30 fully geared troops, up to 16,000 pounds of internal cargo and equipment, they're compatible with military applications and have aerial firefighting capabilities as well as external wing stores. The special use variant is capable of cruising at 200 knots and can be operational for more than 19 hours in flight and can be used in conditions up to sea state 3. The special use variant has an exceedingly large list of expected roles from government to military. Some government roles include aerial firefighting, maritime patrol, search and rescue, coast guard, along with maritime disaster relief. Military applications include, but are not limited to, anti-piracy gunships, anti-service or anti-submarine warfare, intelligence aircraft, military cargo transport, troop transport, as well as many other specific roles. This is definitely interesting to see an aircraft design nearly 90 years old get a new lease on life. It seems the company already has a lead customer and is capable of getting this NGAA Catalina 2 into the skies by 2029. So what do you think about this news? Let me know in the comments below.